today's episode, we will put TPO and Duralast to the test. We want to see how they hold up to fire. Once the heat is removed, will they go out or will they continue to feed itself and allow the fire to grow? This is a very important question when considering the two products. If you're a facility manager, property manager, general contractor, builder, or architect, then this video is for you. And you will notice, once the flame or the torch is applied to the TPO, it catches on fire, just like the Duralast. The Duralast catches on fire. However, once the heat is removed, as you can see, the Duralast roof, the fire goes out. However, the TPO continues to feed itself. Now this day was in the mid 70s and windy outside. The ambient temperature was around 75 degrees. Imagine a lightning strike hitting your building, or an electrical fire from an HVAC unit on top of your building. Now which of these two products would you prefer to have? The TPO, which as you can see, continues to feed itself and get bigger and bigger. The Duralast, once the heat is removed, it can go out easily. Even the wind blew it out. When we first started this experiment, I didn't have any real expectations. I was just curious to see if lightning were to strike a building, what would happen to the roof? Or an electrical HVAC fire occurred? Or maybe a random fireworks accident? Or a more normal occurrence like another building catching on fire and its debris landing on the roof? What would happen? However, I believe from the video, a person can come to the conclusion the TPO will continue to feed the fire versus PVC or Duralast, which will only melt. I know which one I would choose for my building, 